Hey everyone, I realized I did not film an intro, so here we go. My name is Kristen. I'm currently in my fourth and final semester of nursing school. I have three months exactly until graduation, which I'm super excited about. And I really just wanted to take you into a clinical day in my life. So if you're interested, just go ahead and keep watching. I'm not sure how the audio is gonna sound because I have my heat on right now. It's currently five degrees outside. There's still ice all over my windshield. I have lived up north for two seasons now of winter in the Midwest too. And neither winter has been this bad. So this is my third winter now. And finally, they're actually starting to get what they call a real winter, not a mild winter. And it's cold. I couldn't get out of bed this morning. I was super exhausted, but hey, I made it. I was so thankful that last night I put everything out, like my uniform, my shoes. I also packed my lunch, so the only thing I had to do this morning was actually just pack my sandwich and then pack my bagel, which I'm gonna eat my bagel on the way just so I can get to the unit and not have to like shove my face full of food. I am just on a regular med surge floor. I'm super excited for today's clinical shift. I have a med surge exam tomorrow, which really sucks because I basically lose a whole day of studying, but this is the only exam that I have before clinical. The other exams are on Thursdays and I do not have to worry about my clinical interfering with my study schedule. I will be studying today. I'm almost at school and it's about like, a 15 minute walk in so I'm gonna be just on time so I'm gonna have to hustle I had to wait for my car to warm up this morning so I'm running just a tad bit behind all right so it is two o'clock and as you can see I'm back in my car Today was such a busy day. I was supposed to be on the unit a little bit longer. However, the weather conditions outside are not optimal for driving. And with my exam tomorrow, it was honestly just a decision for us to go home and make sure that we are all safe on the drive home. Uh, many people in my clinical group actually have quite a drive to get home. So although I live right next to campus and where the clinical area is, not everybody is as fortunate as me to only have an eight minute drive. So I am on my way home. It was such a busy day. I could not even take one little break for myself and I only got it a couple times where I could actually go drink water and even drink my green tea that I brought with me. I was helping out the PCT who was also an RN but she was taking the responsibility of a PCT and I was also helping out my nurse. So between four patients and helping out my PCT's patients, I went from room to room to room to room helping them and it was just a very busy day. It was a good day. I was able to do a lot of skills. 
I removed a Foley, I removed an IV, I was able to give some injections like heparin, I was able to give meds, I also did linen changes, I helped with bed baths, I also did get to give medications through a G-tube, I had a very eventful day, I will elaborate a little bit more I guess when I get back home just because I am driving right now but I could have not asked for a better day. Normally my clinical days are not eventful. I'll do like vital signs here or there. I'll help out the nurse here or there, but I felt like my nurse actually utilized me today and I got to learn so many skills. I got to see different skin lesions, pressure ulcers. So I really did get to take my time and learn these different incisions to be able to kind of figure out what's going on and assessing my patients. So it was a very good day and I'm actually very happy with how the day turned out. I will update you when I get home. So yeah, before I go more into detail about my day, you can tell that I'm sitting in a car right now. So since filming this video, a lot happened. I tried to film the rest of the video yesterday. My camera actually fell off the tripod. The screws ended up getting stripped to the point where it couldn't even hold my camera anymore and I had no idea because um, everything was good until the moment I watched my camera fall off my tripod and it actually broke the screen off. And with my camera, everything is programmed with my screen. So now I have to send that in and get it fixed. So I have to record on my phone, I guess, from now on. So I'm filming this while I'm editing and you know, I watched the amount of clip that I do have and it's not enough to even just kind of talk about my day. And then after that, I was gonna continue filming, but I was just so upset. I cried for a solid hour after I broke my camera. The camera that I have is a D5600, it's a Nikon. And when I originally purchased that camera, it was only, I think $400 and then I purchased the lens. And now the camera body itself is $700. So they raised the price of my camera and I originally purchased it for photography and getting into just a hobby me being able to take photos of my friends my family and I actually have taken photos and do have a small portfolio back to my clinical day from what I can remember because I am now filming this a few days later I remember getting on the unit I was assigned a patient before seven o'clock I went to report once I got report from all the nurses I went into each individual patient's room that allowed me to kind of get to know the patient, introduce myself, let them know they have a nursing student that is able to help them if they ever need it. And after that, I really just followed my nurse around the whole entire day. Um, in the morning, it took about two hours to give meds to all the patients. I did get to give a heparin injection. And there also was a patient who had a G-tube, so I got to learn how to crush up meds and then insert that through a G-tube. So that was definitely very interesting. There were a couple patients who were either incontinent or couldn't get up to use the bathroom. So there was a lot of cleaning and a lot of poop and pee. I'm not gonna lie, I had to wash my hands a couple of times because of how much poop and pee there was in the morning when we were doing our initial hourly rounds. I also participated in doing assessments for all the patients just so I can really get more experience and all the patients were super great. So me and my nurse took about two full hours to do the initial first round. And then after that, we had to immediately go back and re-round again. And this time around, we had to give more medication such as pain medication. For some reason, the, the hospital ran out of a certain milligram for oxy so we had to wait till prescriptions could come in so we could change the prescription be able to give the patient the pain med that they needed it's definitely a super busy morning um, I really like I said mainly just took vitals helped with those assessments and you know got to give out meds that was exciting and I did have a little bit of downtime to then be able to research my patient I did not get to research my patient until after I helped out my nurse for those couple hours and then I took that time to actually do a head to toe assessment in front of my instructor. We do get graded on that once a clinical. So I went ahead and I did my head to toe, got my grade. And after that, I was really just helping my nurse and the PCT who was also an RN. They asked me to do so many things like just even bed baths and helping the patients get their hair washed. I remember getting tons of water, getting ice chips for patients. I was on my feet all day. I helped with an admission with a patient who was coming from an ICU. That specific patient had drains. I got to learn how to empty the drains and then measure as well. And I didn't know that you actually had to measure the output from the drain. So that was something that I actually learned that was completely new. One of my patients was getting discharged. So 
I got to remove the IV and I also got to remove a Foley. I have not inserted a Foley yet, but hey, at least I got to remove one. I feel like I'm getting one step closer to learning how to actually do things when it comes to med surge. But halfway through the day, it mainly switched and I was really following the PCT around. She needed so much help. One thing we are not allowed to do in the hospital is accu checks. While the RN who was acting as a PCT was going around and taking accu checks, I was doing all the vitals for the patients and I was also making sure that I went in and did a focused head to toe. And the RN was then coming in after me and making sure that everything that I was doing was correct. But it did help lighten her load when I kind of gave her a little update of what was going on with the patient at that time. And I went to lunch pretty late. I went to lunch at about 1.30. I was starving by this point because you have to imagine my clinicals, I have to be there and start by seven. And I did not eat anything until 1.30. I was getting super tired because I knew I was hungry. I really didn't even get a chance to drink my green tea that I made. And I chugged that right before lunch because I was so thirsty. I had to take a break for myself to go to the bathroom. So I had to make sure that I did that. And right when I went to lunch, I found out that we were leaving early and most of it was due to weather conditions. It was snowing and it was in the single digits. So the weather just was not optimal for us to drive. So then literally when I got back, I said bye to my nurse and I thanked them for letting me do all that they had let me do that day. And I, I honestly did so much. I can't even remember the things that I got to do because the day went by so fast. I don't even remember some of the things I did because of how fast the day went. And you know, it got to the point where at first I was a little overwhelmed. Then at the end of the day, you know, it went by so fast. I forgot what it felt like to be overwhelmed. And I just like kept going and going and going. and. I helped out some of the other nursing students in my clinical group who needed help whenever I had some downtime. So I always felt like I was on my feet. I didn't even chart my full head to toe until I wanna say like right before I went to lunch at about one o'clock. And you're supposed to have all that charted, including vitals by 8 a.m. So I was really behind, but my clinical instructor understood the situation. So that was really nice. That was pretty much my clinical day wrapped up in a very short video. So my goal going forward is I wanna try to do more of these where you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing, even if it's just in like the supply closet. I know that my clinical day was so hectic. I couldn't even update y'all and I tried so hard. We'll kind of see what happens going forward. That is all that I have for you in today's video. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Of course, subscribe to the channel as well as join the Facebook group. And I really just want to wish you luck on your nursing journey.